Hey Gemini and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your May 6th to the 12th love reading for you and your cross watcher. Um, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini's. Alright, so your first card out was the Three of Swords in Reverse. Your next card out is the Knight of Wands in Reverse. And the Four of Swords in Reverse. Your guys' outcome for the week in love. Oh, I got a bunch of them there. I don't think I'm going to take all those. <laughs> That's a little too many. There we go. The Two of Swords in Reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck and shared energy is the devil. Clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Gemini, what's going on here? All right. I'm going to tip you guys on down here. Move that over. All right. Hopefully you can see all those still. All right. See what your person is up to, Gemini. Why does Gemini have the Three of Swords here in reverse? So you are getting over a heartache of the past. There was something that truly broke your heart um, that you are coming out of, that you're getting over. Why is the Three of Swords here in reverse for Gemini? And you're you're really starting to rise up from the ashes. This the um. Look at the top of the heart. It has that fire leading towards the sun. You're being enlightened. This is the divine of the light, or the divine light that's putting a new passion in your soul. That's lighting a new fire under you. That's um, creating this new sense of um, excitement. And it could be due to a new fire sign coming into your life, um, or there's a fire sign that is uh, that is wanting to be with you, Gemini. Um, this is also moving forward, just uh, no longer overthinking everything, just moving forward, letting your heart lead the way, and and not looking back. Why is the Knight of Wands? Thank you. Oh well, my goodness, you can most definitely be dealing with a fire sign here. The Knight of Wands with a Wheel of Fortune. So no longer um, being stuck in a situation where you feel... Uh, this person is just going to come in and out of your life. Good things are coming in for you. This is going with the flow of things, not having to try to control everything. Um, and really just allowing your good fortune to come in. No longer um, being so flighty towards somebody. Uh, for some of you, especially if you have... Uh, yeah, if you have a uh, Gemini in your moon... Uh, you're really just kind of chilling out, not trying to uh, control everything. You do have the Four of Swords with the Four of Cups in reverse, so you're needing to um, take a step back, take a rest. Uh, you're kind of refusing to do that, and when you do, you're going to see what this gift from the universe is trying to show you. Uh, it's telling you to you know, meditate, to focus on that one cup instead of the three, um, and it's going to come to you, uh, what you need to know, what you're missing. Cause there's something here that's missing with the four of cups. You're not seeing something that the universe is trying to show you, but when you do this week, uh, Gemini, you will be going and, you know, taking this rest, taking the time to collect your thoughts and you are going to see what, uh, what the universe has been trying to show you with your outcome. Um, you are making a decision. You're no longer, um, you're no longer, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? Ignoring what is all around you. You are going to move forward. You are going to move, uh, in a very steady 
fashion, but it's only because you don't want to rush into anything. You know the wheel is here and it's going to bring good fortune, but you want it to be stable. You don't want it just to come in and leave just as fast. You want whatever is coming in for you or you moving towards somebody to be something real, to be something stable, but full of passion. You are having the courage to take action and move forward, um, being more consistent and allowing that uh, blessing to come in for you. And in this time of rest, you are going to see what the universe is trying to show you. And it is going to show you um, a path of stability and something that you can trust that's going to that's gonna be there. You do have the emperor as your um, shared energy. Oh, did I say the devil before? I think I did. The emperor. Um, so, uh, Gemini, you could be dealing with a uh, Aries as well. I have Aries or Sagittarius here um, for Major Arcana. But just really um, taking control of your life. When I said you are moving forward, taking action, not overthinking it, you are really putting one foot in front of the next and making things happen for yourself. Um, why is the Emperor here? Good things are coming in for you, Gemini. Why is the Emperor here? Thank you. Yeah, being clarified with the Knight of Cups. So you're no longer like solely focusing on love or the love lost. You're more now focused on taking action, going after what you want, bringing in that good fortune, bringing in that um, wealth, uh, living, you know, following your own passion, following your own path, because you are uh, freshly getting out of a situation um, where your home was broken up. You could have had somebody leave the marriage. You could have had somebody ask you for a divorce. You could have had somebody say, you know, I'm, I'm just not happy anymore. I don't, I don't want this, but you're starting to see that every, every pain, every hurt, every lesson brings in a new blessing. So what you weren't seeing when you weren't stepping back and taking a rest, you weren't seeing the blessing in this heartache that you had experienced. You weren't seeing what was coming in for you after you um, allowed this to, to go. And you're really starting to see that now with the emperor energy. Yeah, the nine of pentacles clarifying the four of wands. So you have just newly become single coming out of a marriage, somebody that you had a home with. Why is the king of cup? Yep. Wow. You could, for you Gemini men, you could have had a, uh, your spouse tell you that they no longer wanted to be in this marriage, that they wanted to be single. They wanted to move forward. Um, this is also the king and queen, um, in reverse. So just a lot of emotional instability for you, Gemini, as of recent, but in the recent past, but now you're starting to see the lesson in all of this. You had, you're starting to see why it all had to happen because it had to happen in order to bring in this beautiful, um, new energy that's coming in for you. That's going to be stable and it isn't going to go anywhere. So a lot of uh, kind of soul searching this week, uh, Gemini, you are also getting over that heartache of that spouse or uh, long-term partner telling you that they wanted to go. Um, your bottom of the deck was a 10 of swords too. So getting over that heartache, letting that cycle close um, so you can move forward. And this new person comes and just kind of takes your life by storm in a good way. Um so let's see their uh, outlook on things here. For our uh, Gemini cross watchers, why is the three of swords here in reverse? For your person, who would be the Aries? All right, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh. And the Four of Swords in reverse. And the Two of Swords in reverse. Alright, so... Cross watchers, your Gemini 
is getting over some heartache um, of some secrets kept. Remember, these energies can be vice versa. So, Gemini, if you resonate more with this side, then, of course, put your partner on the other uh, side of this in the last spread. So, um, but just for the sake of confusion, I'm going to say it this way. Um, but Gemini... Uh, or cross watchers, your Gemini is getting over some heartache from some secrets kept in the past, some deceit, some betrayal, um, some things hidden from them. Things had to come to light that were done um, in the light of the moon, but they are healing from that. Um, and this cross watcher doesn't even necessarily have to mean you did this to this person. This could very well be um, somebody else in their past that had done this. Um, Somebody, there was a lot of feeling of defeat here. Uh, there was somebody that left your uh, Gemini's life very quickly, as quickly as they came, leaving them feeling very defeated, very sad, very, um, almost like they were used. I'm feeling used right now. Uh, the time needed to heal before this can move forward um, is there needs to be time taken out to set aside to allow the pain of those three of swords to heal so they can move forward with that ace of swords they did do that as you see with the first card out so they are coming out of this healing phase they are making a conscious decision to let the the offer that didn't come in they're leaving that behind they're getting over that um, they're making this choice to no longer focus on this cup of love that wasn't offered. They're coming out of this time of healing for you cross watchers. Um, in the outcome, there is the two of swords and the seven of swords. So no longer, they decided to no longer put up with this um, deceitful energy. This person who is only out for themselves, cheating, uh, lying, whatever. It's just deception. Uh, they're no longer going to choose to sit around and listen to this or um, experience this. There's a lot with the moon and the seven of swords here with the three of swords. That's a lot of ouchy energy. So your Gemini really has some healing, uh, or really has been doing some healing, working very hard to heal their heart so that they can move forward because this person, uh, they're coming to a completion point with this person. They're going to regain their stability. They're going to regain their ground. They're going to become even stronger and better than ever. But they have to allow the cycle to end first. And this is in your shared energy cross watchers. So um, in, in order for their, uh, or in the past, they had, somebody walked out of this connection, um, leaving this person feel like they're standing there waiting forever. For some of you, uh, they're, they had to leave another partner in order for the two of you to come together, but this is closing the distance. So their situation with their home life had to end in order for the two of you to come together, in order for this distance to close and these blessings to come in, these ships to come in. You're no longer waiting for this person. Um, now that they have gotten over the heartache of of the past, now that they have let this energy go, they will come towards you um, very quickly um, in this fast-paced energy. But it's not going to be like, I don't feel it is going to be like just sex and that's it. They're going to want more, but they have to get over the, the heartache first. Um, for you Gemini cross watchers. I do see the person that you're waiting on though cross watcher your Gemini your Gemini is leaving the situation that they Had going on at home where there was a lot of deceit, but they had to get over that first before they could really let go Let's get one card for you guys Gemini Gemini Oh Honeymoon and express your love. So the two of you could be um, leaving for the weekend together at the end of this week, taking a couple days. A honeymoon doesn't necessarily mean uh, a holiday or an actual honeymoon. A honeymoon in this deck is just getting away for a couple days, getting away from the outside 
world, escaping for a little bit, and spending some quality time together. So go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, Gemini, move forward uh, and enjoy some time together with this person who is waiting for you to um, come towards them after you have left this situation in the past where there was a lot of hurt um, and, a, and a lot of just a lot of sad energy. The weekend, the holiday, the couple days away will do you good, Gemini. All right, guys. I hope you have an amazing week. I will see you next time. God bless.